thanks for sending another question. Um, if I'm reading this question correctly, they have given us a vector um, that's defined by its angle um, up from the x-axis and its magnitude, which is given as 16 centimeters per second, and they would like us to decompose this vector into perpendicular components. So they want us, they've given us a vector here with two components. I've chosen to call them x and y. That's pretty standard. And they want us to find each of the components of this vector. x would be the horizontal component. We think of x as going in the horizontal direction, so that's perfectly appropriate. And then y would be the vertical component. So there's a formula for this. To find the components of any vector on the xy plane, x is equal to the magnitude of the vector times the cosine of the angle of the vector. So where the angle is defined um, by its elevation from the horizontal x-axis right here. And y is the magnitude of the vector times the sine of that angle. So let's go ahead and plug into that. They've given us enough information to fill in all of this formula. They've given us that the angle of elevation from the x-axis is 30 degrees, so we're going to be using that as our theta. And they've given us that the magnitude of the vector, which they're calling v, is 16 centimeters per second. So to find the horizontal component, x, I'm going to just plug into this formula. It'll be 16 centimeters per second times the cosine of 30 degrees. You can, of course, leave it in degrees at this point if you'd like. If you plug that into your calculator, we get that that is equal to 8 rad 3. If we take 8 rad 3 and we round it to do two decimal places as asked, that is approximately 13.86 centimeters per second. And let's go ahead and find the vertical component similarly. It is also going to be 16 centimeters per second times the sine of the same angle. If you plug that into your calculator, or you can figure this out manually if you're familiar with trigonometry, you should get that this is equal to 8, which we don't need to round. Thanks again for your question, Jennifer, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.